Thanks for being with us. I'm Brooks Baptiste. And I'm Gravier Denza. This is the first time they've been back in class since last week's storms, which produced several tornadoes that ripped through several Georgia counties, Spalding being the hardest hit. Here's Atlanta News First's Rebecca Schramm. Some of the school campuses here in Griffin Spalding County are in bad shape. Look at this. The football scoreboard here at Griffin High School is down and way across the field there. You can see there are trees strewn across the track, but most of the school buildings fared pretty well and families are ready for a little bit of normalcy. We live in motel to motel right now. Markeisha Holland and her son were all smiles this morning as she dropped him off at Orr Elementary School. He's back for the first time since a tornado sent a tree through their home. Markeisha says it narrowly missed her husband. What saved his life was the framing of the ceiling. It stopped the, the tree from smushing him. Teachers are, are really excited to to see these these kids that they love so much. School district spokesman Adam Pugh tells me today's half day was basically a run through to work out logistics and find out how they can help families. Roughly a third of Griffin Spalding County students still aren't back in their homes. District leaders are meeting with Noonan Coweta County today because they went through a very similar uh, natural disaster tornadoes uh, in, in, in recent years and, and so we're going to glean everything we can from their experience. Well, we bless. Parent Marco Colbert says Griffin families are dealing with a lot. My parents, my father, he's on oxygen. We had to get a generator to him. We got them living in Henry County. They safe right now. They still don't have power. So it just different areas of Griffin. It's like a war zone. As for Markeisha's son. He was excited to come to school today. So I thought I wasn't going to be able to get him here. So that was a a good thing. Back here at Griffin High School Sports Complex, you can see they've got a lot of work to do on the baseball fields before the season starts to ramp up in a few weeks. All the schools are hoping to get back to a regular full day schedule starting on Monday. In Griffin, Rebecca Schram, Atlanta News First.